Our top story this Monday morning, the Samyukt Kisan Morcha has called for a Bharat Bant today. This is to mark the first anniversary of the passage of the three contentious farm laws. The Bharat Bant will be effective till 4 p.m. today. Government private offices, shops, industries, commercial establishments, all of it could be affected during this Bant. Public and private transport may also be impacted due to the Bharat Bant. Farm leader Rakesh Tiket has warned people not to come out of their homes before 3 p.m. Opposition parties have expressed their support also to this Bant. The Congress has asked its workers and state unit chiefs to join the Bharat Bant that's been called by the farmers. BSP chief Mayavati has also supported the Bharat Bant. Ahmad Party and TDP have also extended their support. Meanwhile, the Union Agriculture Minister has urged farmers to adopt a path of dialogue and not to resort to these protests. और ये जब इतिहास लिखा जाएगा कि कौन से काल में हुए कौन सा राजा था ये पूरा जो कलंक है मोदी 700 किसानों को हत्यारा किसी भी आदमी को अगर निकलना है तो अपील है उनसे वो तीन बजे के बाहर लिख रहे हैं चार बजे तक पूर्ण रूप से जाम रहेगा सिर्फ एम्बुलेंस दूध सब्जी की गाड़ियां किसी पे मेडिकल का कागज होगा डॉक्टर का जा सकता है मैं किसान बंधुओं को आग्रह करना चाहता हूं कि वो आंदोलन का रास्ता छोड़कर वार्ता का रास्ता अपनाएं सरकार उनके द्वारा बताई गई आपत्ति पर विचार करने के लिए तैयार है और इससे पहले भी कई बार बात हो चुकी है लेकिन इसके बाद भी अगर उन्हें लगता है कोई बात बची है तो जरूर सरकार बात करेगी Meanwhile, Navjot Singh Sidhu, the Congress Punjab chief, has backed farmers once again while extending support to the Sanyukt Kisan Morcha's Bharat Bant call. The Punjab Kong chief said, and I quote, Punjab Congress firmly stands by farmer union's Bharat Bant call for the day. The cricketer turned politician even urged Congress workers to fight against the three contentious farm laws. This isn't the first time that Sidhu's openly come out in farmers' protest. Earlier, he targeted his arch rival, Captain Amrinder Singh, in a letter to him, slamming the FIRs that were filed against farmers who were protesting. Sidhu's even said that the victory of farmers was his top priority and that he'll remain available for the agitating unions as and when required. And poor-bound Punjab has gotten a new cabinet five months before elections. Fifteen cabinet ministers took oath a week after Chief Minister Charanjit Singh Chani's swearing-in ceremony. Sources tell India today that the list of ministers dominated by Siddhu loyalists was approved by the Gandhis, axing many of Captain Amrinder Singh's loyalists. I am Pargat Singh. I am Razia Sultana. I am Vijay Indar Singhla. I am the son of the Team Channi takes shape in Polbound Punjab. I am Singh Naba. I am Singh Charanjit Singh Channi's cabinet ministers took oath a week after hectic parleys, bargaining twists and turns. I Aruna Chaudhary. किस तरीके से इस कैबिनेट विस्तार को आप देखते हैं? बहुत अच्छा हुआ है. सारे अच्छे लोग आए हैं और अच्छा काम होगा. जो जो लोगों की मेरे से आशाएं हैं वो पूरी होंगी मैं संगत सिंह गिलजियान ऑन संडे 15 कैबिनेट मिनिस्टर्स वर इंडक्टेड विद सेवन न्यू फेसेस एट राजभवन इन चंडीगढ़ इस बात के लिए मुझे बड़ी फक्र है कि छह सात नए मंत्री हैं और उन मंत्रियों में जो है नौजवान मंत्री भी हैं जो युवक कांग्रेस से दूसरों से आए हैं जिनके साथ भविष्य की संभावनाएं हैं हमने सामाजिक बैलेंस को भी पूरी तरीके से संतुलित करने का काम किया है कांग्रेस ब्रास सीम टू हैव मेड अ केयरफुल मिक्स ऑफ रिलिजंस एंड रीजंस इन द न्यू कैबिनेट विद एन आई ऑन इलेक्शंस जस्ट 5 मंथ्स अवे द जट्स कम्युनिटी हैज द हाईएस्ट रिप्रेजेंटेशन विद नाइन फेसेस अपार्ट फ्रॉम एट हिंदूज इंक्लूडिंग टू दलित्स and one OBC and one Muslim face. I Rana Gurji Singh, I am the son of the king 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 of the king.
The oath had its own share of controversy with the induction of Rana Gurjeet Singh. Gurjeet, a sugar baron, was forced out of Captain Amrinder Singh's cabinet in 2018 after his name figured in a mining scam. He was accused of giving mining contracts to his domestic help. Several Congress heavyweights raised objection against the tainted face in the cabinet. A member of the Captain Amrinder Singh camp broke down over his ouster, claiming they were punished for backing Captain Amrinder Singh. I have been in this country for 30 years. I have been in this country. दूसरी गल सीव दिन को आरी मैं चली साढ़े चार कांटे में टॉसर कितना गया क्योंकि उसको आठ हजार वेलेस ये इस करके आज मैंने साफ मगना मैंने उन साफ धेन देखो मैंने वो तो यही समझ लगती है अभी ऐसी सीएम साहब ना बफादारी ना पार्टी दी सेवा की थी या कैप्टन साहब ना वो ही सजा मिली है the Sidhu camp has completely sidelined the Amrinder faction in the cabinet expansion, which has the blessings of both the Gandhi family and Navjot Singh Sidhu. Will Captain Amrinder Singh take this blow lying down? The biggest challenge before the party high command is to keep its flock together, which still remains a divided house. All eyes are now Captain Amrinder Singh, who has announced to fight Punjab Congress Committee Chief Navjot Singh Sidhu tooth and nail. Whether he floats a new political party or joins another will decide Congress fate in 2022 assembly elections. With video journalist Dilip Sahu, this is Manjit Sagal in Chandigarh for India Today. And in Uttar Pradesh too, during the weekend, we've seen a cabinet expansion months to go for the crucial Uttar Pradesh polls. And Chief Minister Yogi Adityarath expanded his cabinet. Former Congress leader Jitin Prasad is the most high-profile new face in the Yogi government. Prasad has been inducted as a cabinet minister in the UP government. Besides that, six ministers of state from numerically dominant OBC and Dalit communities have also been given births in the cabinet. Just months before the crucial Uttar Pradesh polls, Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath expanded his cabinet in a bid to include influential caste groups and communities. Jitin Prasad, who was a close associate of Rahul Gandhi before joining BJP in June, took an oath as the lone cabinet minister. Prasad's induction is believed to be a crucial move to give representation to the influential Brahmin community in the Yogi cabinet. सर्वप्रथम मैं आभार प्रकट करना चाहूँगा आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री जी का नरेंद्र मोदी जी का हमारे राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष जेपी नड्डा जी का गृह मंत्री अमित शाह जी का और मुख्यमंत्री योगी जी का कि जो उन्होंने सम्मान दिया है जो विश्वास व्यक्त किया है मेरा प्रयास यही रहेगा कि उनके विश्वास पे मैं खरा उतरूँ अपार्ट फ्रॉम हेवी वेट जितिन देर वेर सिक्स मिनिस्टर्स ऑफ स्टेट फ्रॉम न्यूमेरिकली डोमिनेंट ओ एंड दलित कम्युनिटीज धर्मवीर प्रजापति एंड एम फ्रॉम वेस्टर्न यूपी जागरा Sangeeta Balwant Bind, a first-time MLA from Ghazipur Sadar, Kurmi Face, Chhatrapal Gangwar, the MLA from Bahedi in Bareilly. Our Pratmakta is that the government has given us the work that the government has done, we have to see those projects. Veteran Dalit Face, Paltu Ram, who dumped BSP, was also sworn in as the Minister of State. Two more Dalit Faces, Hastinapur MLA, Dinesh Khatik and Sanjeev Kumar, a first-time MLA from Obra, also made it to the cabinet. The party of the party is before the first time. We are with everyone, with everyone, and with everyone. We are with the party of the party of the party in 2022. We are with the party of the party of the party of the party. We are with the party of the party of the party of the party of the party. But former UP Chief Minister Akhilesh Yadav called the new cabinet expansion a pre-poll drama of the BJP. CM Yogi also made a crucial farmer outreach with hiking MSP for sugarcane and dropped several stubble burning cases against the farming community. The government has said that in the 
अब तक जिस गन्ने का 325 प्रति कुंटल दाम मिलता था उस गन्ने का हम तीन सौ गन्ना किसानों को भुगतान करेंगे Will the big cost card and farm shops help Yogi Adityanath in the big poll test next year? Bureau report, India Today. Less than 24 hours since his return from the United States, Prime Minister Narendra Modi made an unannounced visit to the construction site of the new Parliament building. Prime Minister Modi arrived at the new Parliament site at around 8:45 p.m. last night without any prior intimation. and without a security detail he spent almost an hour at the site took stock of the progress being made so far in the under construction parliament building remember the prime minister modi had laid the foundation stone for the central vista project in december last year the new parliament being built at a cost of 971 crore rupees is uh, set to be ready ahead of next year's winter parliamentary session which according to the plan will be held in the new parliament building Moving on to some other stories that we're tracking this Monday morning. TRS MLA Ramulu Nayak has come to the spotlight after a bizarre comment comparing his party workers to Taliban. Nayak advised TRS party cadre to consider Taliban and Naxalites as role models. During an address to workers gathered in his constituency Vaira on Sunday, Nayak said that when the whistle blows they have to hold sticks and party flags as a weapon and fight for the party. like taliban and naxalites he added that trs is well trained for war naik later corrected himself and said the party workers are not like terrorists and that the party has trained soldiers he also added that the party had ksr and ktr as weapons the statement hasn't gone down well with the opposition oka ye lese sar road dekal sindi karra patal sindi janda janda patal sindi aa pakkara ga oka udyamkal oka onda dani vandante oka taliban type lo kavachu oka nagarism type lo aa pakkara ga pratikara pratikara ga road dekal sindi tappa mana vendo nalugulu pati chethulu pati road ekkisi atvanti vyavastha trs party lo kodadu already the telangana people have suffered enough with razakars and we don't want another taliban movement this kind of statements is unpardonable uncondemnable we wonder the bharatiya janata party wonders is it telangana rashtriya samiti party or taliban rashtriya samiti party we demand an apology from honorable mla ramlu nayak After not getting permission to visit Vatican City for the World Peace Conference, Mamata Banerjee's launched a fresh attack on the Modi government in a rally. Didi asked the center, "How many trips will the BJP try to stop?" Mamata further said that she followed protocol by seeking permission from the MEA to visit the international event, unlike other chief ministers in the past. The TNC Supremo also accused the center of misusing central agencies to win the bypolls. MEA has clarified that the event is not. not uh, commensurate in status for participation by chief minister didi is due to die battle meanwhile for babani pur is in its last leg of campaigning for both the bjp and the tmc today the voting will be held on the 30th of september results will be out on the 3rd of october bangla ke shanti sammelone bishwo shanti sammelone dag deya hoy আর যারা হিমছুটে তারা বলে না যাওয়া যাবে না ওটা নাকি ফিট নয় কোনটা ফিট কোনটা ফিট আর কোনটা আনফিট কে ঠিক করবে কে ঠিক করবে আমার ভালো মন্দ আমি বুঝতে পারবো না তোমাদের বোঝাতে হবে Let's also get you the shocking story of five people being arrested for cheating in the Rajasthan eligibility examination for teachers. The Bikaner superintendent of police said that Bluetooth devices were hidden in slippers by the accused to help in cheating. The slippers had a small calling device that was connected with a SIM card. Now a small Bluetooth enabled device was fitted in the ear of the candidate as well to help them communicate and get the answers. Of the five arrested Three were candidates applying for the teachers jobs while the other two were arrested for helping these candidates in cheating. 
After two defeats, RCB finally managed to get past the finishing line at the expense of the Mumbai Indians. Rohit Sharma's side have failed to win even a single game in the UAE leg and are currently languishing in seventh place on the table. Check out how Virat Kohli's men dominated the men in blue and gold. Even though Devdat Padikal got out without troubling the scorers, Virat Kohli and KS Bharat made the power play count. The duo added 68 runs for the second wicket and provided their big hitters a perfect platform. They were short, he could see it. Rahul Cheher brought an end to the partnership, having Bharat caught at long off for a 24 ball 32. He intended to go over extra cover. Maxwell didn't let the run rate dip with some breathtaking shots, including a number of reverse hits that went the distance. Takes it on and gets plenty of it. While Kohli registered his second 50 in as many games, he couldn't quite kick on as Adam Milne sent him back for 51. Who wants it? Coming in from square leg, comfortably taken. With Maxwell going great guns, RCB looked set for 180 plus total. Very stylish. But Boomerang and Bolt bowled two special overs, taking three wickets between them, including that of Maxwell and ABD. Two and two. A big over from Jasprit Bumrah. That's RCB could only add nine runs of those final two overs to finish with 165. Has got him again. Rohit and Quinton Decock then got off to a flyer, with Mumbai racing to 51 for no loss at the end of first five overs. Such a lovely sound off the bat. Decock's wicket though opened the gates for the Royal Challengers Bangalore. Maxi does not drop those. This is what he does all the time. For and Mumbai suddenly seemed lost, with wickets tumbling one after the other. From overs 5 to 15, Mumbai lost five wickets for the addition of just 48 runs. What an innocuous ball. And then Harshal Patel took out any hope Mumbai Indians had of winning the game. Oh, Harshal Patel! Hardik Pandya, Kyron Pollard, Rahul Cheher. All three gone off successive balls as Harshal Patel picked up a hat-trick in the 17th over. Off he goes. His hat-trick ensured Mumbai Indians slumped to their third consecutive defeat of this year's IPL. A commanding victory. Sports Bureau, India Today. Runs here in Dubai. Chennai Super Kings made it three wins in three matches as they edged past the Kolkata Knight Riders in a humdinger of a game. With the victory, the men in yellow made it eight wins from ten games this season. Check out how they pipped KKR. Shubman Gill once again looked in good touch, but a direct hit from Ambati Raidu cut his inning short. KKR though made a quick recovery, racing to 50 for one at the end of five overs. However, Shardul Thakur then got rid of Venkatesh Iyer, bowling a wicket maiden to get CSK back in the game. CSK took control of the proceedings, picking up two wickets for just 43 runs in the next eight overs. While Nitish Rana struggled to cut loose, Russell upped the scoring rate a little before Thakur came back to clean him up. But Dinesh Karthik, batting for the first time in the UAE leg, gave KKR the big push that was required in the final overs. His 11 ball 26 helped the Knight Riders post 171. In reply, both Gaikwad and Duplessy were going great guns. The men in yellow ended the power play at 52 for no loss. Andre Russell then provided KKR with a much needed breakthrough, removing Gaikwad for 40. Faf Duplessy then took over the aggressor's role before Prasiddha Krishna had him caught in the deep. Fielder there, fielder there. A must Raidu fell cheaply and then Lockie Ferguson picked up Moin Ali in his final over. Yeah, I think his choice With Raina and Dhoni, two departing in quick succession, KKR was suddenly the favourites to win the game. But then enters Sir Jadeja. With 26 needed of the final two overs, he smashed Prasiddha Krishna to all corners of the park. 22 runs came off the over and CSK were almost home. However, drama ensued in the final over with Sunil Narin taking the game to the very last delivery. He first got rid of Sam Curran and then Ravindra Jadeja of the penalty mate ball. With one needed of the last delivery, new man in Deepak Cheher was under pressure. 
but he kept his nerves to win the nail biter for his side and sent Chennai back to the top of the table. Sports Bureau, India Today.